Two squeaks now. <laughs> well, um, I went through a training with Toby Black. Um, it was a Facebook domination webinar, and he showed you how to search uh, to narrow down your niche in Facebook, like really, 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 really target it, whether you want to do paid um, advertising or, uh, you know, find the pages and the things that, that um, they really hang out at and just mark it that way. So I thought maybe I would share some of his tricks, which I thought were very interesting. I never saw before. Sure. Yeah, I'll yeah, share the screen. Really, really See, it took my keyboard out. Sorry. Okay, so let me share the screen. And I wasn't kind of... I read the notes, but I wasn't prepared. Hold on. And first, I'm going to go to um, Facebook. I get to open my. Do you have to manage on here? And manage, and no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You can tell I am not ready. <laughs> okay. I'm not ready anytime I'm like, got to teach because somebody didn't. Manny Judge, you just passed it. I'm looking for that. Um, what's the name of that? Audience Insights there. Okay. So, first of all, I didn't know if you knew this, but magazines, by law, have to share their media kit online with the marketers, you know, for marketing and stuff. So, um, like, let's say Inc. Magazine Media Kit. And that media kit can tell you a whole bunch of different things about the, the demographics and stuff of their website. So if you obviously this one you're gonna have to let's choose digital audience. You can get some really good information. The median audience is 42. Um, a good percentage is male. They get 9.8 million unique readers. So you can go through and their business owners and decisions. You want to kind of like pick a couple of the magazines that you think your niche is going to be reading and write down some of this information like for you, <laughs> mail, uh, business owner, management, and, you know, just take note of a lot of that stuff. And then you can bring it over to Audience Insights and plug in some audience information like uh, United States. And then let's say, right now we'll start with 25 to 55. Whoops, 56. And we'll say the interest is Inc. Magazine. Do they not have Inc. Magazine? Skin Magazine? No. <laughs> well, you say men. They don't have ink magazine on here. Oh. Is that ink? I don't know. Could be a bunch of guys with tattoos. <laughs> Let me just use entrepreneur. Okay, so up here you can see that 52% um, of Entrepreneur Magazine is men, and um, the age is mostly 25 to 44. 
So if you were going to do like a Facebook ad or something, you would definitely want to plug in between the age of 35 and 44, 25 and 44. So that's fine, 44. And then in page likes, we go down to entrepreneur and we click affinity. And that's going to show that 22% of people who like entrepreneur will like young entrepreneur. So then we can take young entrepreneur, plug that in here. They don't tell you what these things are. And you would just keep going through that. And I can't find the magazine itself. Anyway, you would just keep doing that. Then for young entrepreneur, you would click affinity again and see, and you will get more targeted to where the affinity numbers will actually go up to into the hundreds. The more targeted you get. So, and then mm -hmm. another really cool thing is, uh, have you ever used similar web? Okay. Similar web, you can put in anybody's website. Anybody's website to check their demographics and their information and stuff. But let's do Entrepreneur Magazine. I got to get their uh, URL. And, sorry, Steve, what? No, it's okay. So you paste it in here, and then you would click search. And you can see that Entrepreneur Magazine is rated 804 out of all of the United States and 2,000 worldwide, which is really great. That's really, really great. Their visits that they get is 20.4 million visits, which if you have, if you can find one that's over 300,000, that's good. Anything over 600,000 is awesome. And so what you would do on here is you would just kind of like look around and see United States, um, you know, is where most of the uh, visits come from and you can look down at their traffic sources and you can see that 40% of their traffic source comes from search and 25 comes from social uh, you can see where their traffic is coming from um, referral way like Feedly Fox News refers Pixabay Here's where they're getting their searches, the search information here, and 99.89% is organic searches. So you can tell that they're doing a lot of um, SEO. And so here are a lot of the keywords that you can use. Angry birds, I don't know. But uh, here are a lot of keywords that you can pick up here too. And, um, and then their social marketing and you can even go down and see the ads that they are currently running and you can get some really really good information and then you can just you know click around and see what the demo graphics are you can go in here and then also find similar sites and do the same thing go ahead and plug them in and then you get see a um, Forbes magazine is 111 with a global rank of 351. That's awesome. With 72.4 million. And you could just get really, really targeted in here that way so that you can really, really target your audience in Facebook um, Question. down to the really, you know, deep level. Yes, yeah, Steve? Yeah, when you go up to the ranks again, just scroll down your page. Yeah. Right there. 
is it the smaller the number, the better they are ranked? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you want to make sure that when you're going to, you know, look up a magazine or a site or something, that the site visits are more than 300,000. Because anything less than 300,000 really isn't worth, you know. Okay. So what are we trying to get at here? Well, we're trying to see, you know, the, uh, the kind of information that our audience is going to be, you know, where they're going to be found, what they're going to be like, you know, what they're going to search. See, down mm -hmm. here you can see the keywords that Forbes would search, you know, where you would find them in, like work from home and retirement, whatever that is. Okay. All right. This is for Facebook ads. This is Facebook ads. It can be for anything. Just finding friends. Right. Okay. I don't know. I just thought I would cool. share that with you. I didn't know it really. And when um, when Toby was able to do it, he really, really got down into the nitty gritty um, by going down. Let's see about Fast Company. Oh, no. Money Magazine. Let's plug in Money Magazine. Okay. Go ahead, Sherry. Sherry. Well, I was just going to say that's good to know because uh, I'm running a Facebook ad right now that's not doing very well. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pause it and see if I can make some adjustments or start a new one. I just started it yesterday, so oh, no, okay. it's a big deal. But uh, and I haven't done one in a, in a while. Yeah. So this is good to know. When you guys do your Facebook ads, what do you use? Are you using uh, banners from iPass or or Empower and go to a link? Well, you know, I think that that is my problem. I, th I think my images aren't getting the attention. That's, that's what I think. So, um, y'all might have some insight on that. But no, I'm not using the iPass banners or the EN banners. I'm using... Uh, Either banners that I created, or I mean, images that I created. You really can't with the banners because your words on the image can only be twenty percent or less, and all those banners from iPass and EN they have words everywhere, so it would never get approved through Facebook. True, <laughs> but now they did have. Uh, images in there that you can use in you know within the the ad campaign really yes oh i didn't know I, that i think one of them i'm using right now is is uh one of the images for uh, but, um, from, from like where? when you do your upload the images it says uh i stop photos i think where you can go through and just oh yeah them. Images and and use those those images. Now the thing of it is, when you're running uh, Facebook ads, you can only use them on Facebook ads. You know, you can't take those I stock images without purchasing them and use them someplace else. But I mean, you know, you're running Facebook ads, so that's all you need them for. But yeah, they have oh. thousands in there that you can use. I didn't know that. I mean, I knew that they were there, but I didn't know you could use them in like Facebook advertising. Right. I, I read. You know, they, it said something about the terms and conditions, and I read that just yesterday. It said that, that it's okay as long as you only use them on your Facebook ads. Wow. So, you know, and, and those are, you know, pretty cool images, actually. Yeah. But, you know, I, I put some words on mine, and maybe that's messed it up. I don't know. I'm just, I know I use three images, and I, I think that's what needs adjusting. Which could be my target audience too. Have you? Um, could, have be, you could, could be. Could be. Could <laughs> be. <laughs> have you gotten clicks and stuff, Sherry? I just looked at because when you said Facebook, I, I, I thought, well, I'm going to check it because I knew I haven't got any email notifications, so I just now paused it. Um, looks like I had. And it reached 785 people, and I had 34 clicks. Yeah, it sounds like you're, um, it's not targeting the right people. 
like the, the audience isn't interested. Did you get any leads from it? No, no, yeah. that's why, that's why I just now went in and, and paused. I was just looking at it. I wasn't staring into space. I was looking at it and uh, no leads at all. And I, I never ran a Facebook ad where I did not get any leads. Really? Right. I mean, you know, and it has been a few months since I've ran, since I have run any ads, but, um, you know, I might get 10 or 15 each ad each day. Wow. But, um, you know, it could be my audience too. There's a lot, lots of training. Uh, Justin Beringia has a lot of training on that. But, you know, he's not going to come to my face. I can't get him to come to my Facebook <laughs> and set it up. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that, that's why I paused it because I know there's got to be some adjusting in there someplace. 34 clicks, 785 reach. But hmm. now I think my market when I did it said 10,000. You know what I'm talking about, Michelle? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's the 10,800. So I, I don't know. I don't know what the issue is. Where do you go to get training in, on this uh, type of stuff? In your iPass back office. It's called Facebook PPC. Okay. And, and Power has yeah. them too. Okay. But, but there is a Facebook PPC in your iPass. 30 day? Or six figures. Uh, six, six figure and your fast. I know because I tried to get into it and I don't have the six figures. So <laughs> the six, six figure and um, seems like it's something else. I've I've forgotten. Yeah, like Facebook mastery is in basics. I don't know. Yeah. Right, have yeah. Something else in, in pro. But if you just look in your iPad's back office, since you since you have everything, Steve, well, you should. Be able to find it. Look in your all-in library too. Yeah. Right. Okay. Got it. Uh, looks like the basic, the basic has uh, the uh, Facebook marketing mag man <laughs> mastery, <laughs> um, Facebook prospecting, Facebook hustle, and Facebook chatting. So. Yeah, we're talking about PPC. Right. Yes. Yeah. That that might be in the six figure. I, I don't remember. Yeah, the one in the basic is about uh, just talk, generally talk, chatting to yeah. people and getting them right. to uh, chat back. <laughs> Hi, Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Hi, Janelle. She snuck in here. She's muted. Yeah. Yes, I I finally came over from uh, Skype. I was sitting there wondering, where was everybody? Maybe they didn't have it tonight because of the debates. I thought, okay, so they're all Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> There's a debate? Yeah. I didn't see it. Yeah, I saw it on the TV. Huh. Was it, if it's not David Wood and Chris Jones, I don't watch debates. I don't know. <laughs> hey, guys, well, did, you all, did you all watch that video? Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you. Thank God for... Uh, <laughs> Right. For that last little wipe out of his butt. <laughs> I, I sent that to my email list. I didn't send the video, but I the uh, my subject line was butt naked jumping in the pool or something like that. <laughs> oh, this this guy hits me up through uh, Messenger. It's a guy I graduated high school with. And he uh, sends me this picture of a whole bunch of deer with antler. And it, it says, are you buck naked? You know, <laughs> I had no idea he was on my list. And I said, how long have you been on my list? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it was, it was funny. But anyway, I thought that was a pretty good video. <laughs> yeah. I had to do a double take when I watched it on my phone this morning. It's like, what? <laughs> is that what I think it is? And I told her about it. She's like, what? I've obviously missed that. I haven't seen that yet. David Wood like jumped in his pool. Again? Again, naked. Oh, skinny dipping. <laughs> okay. On I video. Didn't, I didn't need to see that before I went to the government offices. Too. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. 
Oh. Well, Janelle, did you did you want to do your thing tonight, or did you remember? You didn't remember? Oh. Yeah. Do I remember? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. That's only page one. Page two. <laughs> There's page three. I am a, a, a chronic overachiever, you know, so this Well, is you can it. either do it tonight or you can do it next week. Do you either think it's more than 10 minutes? Um, yes. Okay, then we'll have to do it next week because we'll be okay. it. It would have helped if I had been here on time. I really apologize for that. That's okay. We're talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Everybody's talking about me because um, next Thursday I'm turning 60, and everybody's giving me a hard time about, that's why you're falling down. That's why your memory's <laughs> fading. That's why you get confused. I said, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. I would never guessed you were going to turn 60. Yeah. No. Thursday. Wow. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm so glad to see Steve not in the recliner. I've never seen him upright. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hey, might, start don't be a room. <laughs> he'll start what? squeaking in a minute. Yeah. Got my chair oh. here. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's, that's good. I've seen you in a recliner. I've seen you in a hammock. It sounds like a Dr. Seuss story. I, in a hammock, I have seen you in a chair. I have seen you in a tent. I have seen you anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, maybe I can share one thing that'll be um, pretty quick. How's that? Yeah, that's fine. I won't do the three C's, but I will do the bonus that I was going to give. Does anybody know what CPR is? You mean CPR, CPR as in life-saving CPR? Well, that might be it. Pulmonary something resuscitation. Clicks par. For result, no. Okay, here's a, a CPR mnemonic that you can remember. This three of them. Okay. So clarity, when you are uh, looking for all these leads and you actually get those leads from your Facebook ad or whatever, and you drive them to someplace, think about what they are going to see when they get there. Strive for clarity. Is your webpage cluttered? Is your ad cluttered? Is it clear to people? Make sure that they understand exactly what you want them to do. Don't send them to a page that's scattered with ads here, call to actions over here, some stories over here that are totally unrelated. Send them to some place that is absolutely crystal clear. There is only one thing you want them to do when they get there. So be very, very clear when you send them to it. When you're looking at your blog page, think about whether your blog is consistently on message or whether it's about a random thing that you saw at the grocery store today or uh, something you saw in town yesterday or a trip you took the day before. Don't write from your perspective, write from their perspective. Make sure that everything that you write is what they are looking for. Rather than sharing stories about us and saying, hey, we had this great thing last night, they don't care unless you make them care, unless you tell them why they should care about this, how does it help them? Oh, 10 minutes, go away, go away, okay. <laughs> so when you send them to your blog or when you send them to your ads, make sure that if somebody who tested out on, on one of your kids, somebody, maybe a neighbor or a friend, say, look at this and tell me what it is that you're supposed to do. And if they can't tell you within five seconds, Neither will your readers, neither will your viewers. So C, now P. P is for personality. Make sure that you inject personality into your writing, unless, of course, you're an angry sociopath, you know, or psychopath. <laughs> then we don't you mean? put that in there. <laughs> but put some of your personality into your writing. 
at first in clarity, I said, don't ramble and don't write just things. And maybe if that's your personality is just a rambler, maybe just pick one area so that when you function on your personality, what's your passion? It's not going to the grocery store or meeting somebody in town. What is your passion and how is your personality coming across in your blogs, in your ads, in your writing, in your videos? How is your personality coming across? Are you coming across as somebody that's angry and on a rant about uh, politics today? That would be me. Mm -hmm. Or are you coming across as somebody who is really excited and saying, hey, I want you to have the best things in life that I have. Don't talk about your problems. They've got plenty of problems on their own. Pick one of their problems to solve. So that's your personality. And the third one is like resonance. It's not like resonance. It is like, it is resonance. <laughs> the three C's that I was uh, looking at tonight is congruence and resonance is like congruence. But resonance means when somebody comes to your website, do they get it? Does it resonate with them? Um, instead of promises and offers on this, it's about your words and your terms. If you've got somebody who's coming to your website or to your ad or to your blog, what are the words that they use? Do they talk in slang terms? Are they real hip or are they very buttoned down um, Wall Street people? Who is it that's coming to your uh, real estate? Use the language that they would use. Now, if that means you have to have two blogs, one for young people and one for older people, have two blogs. If it means that you have to have one for sports people, one for uh, literary people or people in the arts, have those separate blogs, but don't put them all together. Give them separate pages, give them separate blog posts, give them something that they can resonate with. So when they come in, they don't feel like they're in a football stadium with thousands of other people and they don't know why they're there. Have them come into a cocktail party where they are the guest of honor. So make sure that what you have is clear and that it's clear to the visitor, the reader, the viewer. Make sure that your personality comes through. Like when Michael comes on, he's got his t-shirts on, he's got his, hey, what's up? You know, he's got his DJ vibe going. That's not gonna work for a Wall Street banker perhaps, but it is gonna work for the people that he's trying to target. So put your personality into it. Maybe not as much as Dave Wood puts into his, you know. <laughs> Don't go buck naked into the night here. <laughs> so, there goes my big then, finish. <laughs> if you don't know that. Hopefully he was running away from you. <laughs> so um, then uh, uh, the last thing, make it resonate <laughs> with your audience. Now, like for Tim, you, um, uh, your audience that you um, – cater to is like you've talked about being kingdom minded so you're not going to go out and do a video in a bar somewhere you know with strippers on the pole and that kind of thing probably, not. probably. i figured that was a safe bet i figured it was so <laughs> your personality and your audience is looking for something totally different than maybe david wood jumping naked into a pool i don't know but um I probably wouldn't emulate him in your next video. <laughs> I have two blogs that I do for two different things. I do that, and then I try to do the because early on I discovered exactly what you're saying. I needed to reach two. I needed to do business, and then I needed to do what's on my heart. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yes. So, yeah, I learned that early, and and that's why I was glad when I saw the three blogs. I said, "Hey, I I can do this." And now that I got ten. Oh, <laughs> I, can, yeah. I can be really uh, schizophrenic now. <laughs> and that's the thing that I ran into is that the very first thing that I was doing was uh, blogging about um, what the world taught me, my travels and lessons that I learned around the world. But that didn't monetize very well. And so when Kalatu came out, I started a blog about how to blog. And I, I quickly figured out that I didn't have any passion about that. Hmm. I didn't want to blog all day and then try to give tips for that ad infinitum. It had to go somewhere. So then when I started the iGlobal Freedom, it was to retiring 
expats. And that brought in both of the things, teaching them how to have a laptop lifestyle and teaching them how to travel and make money to fund that travel. So that, that worked out well. And now um, the one that I'm setting up now is a um, golf site because my husband and I are uh, avid golfers. And so that um, allows us to target each of those audiences. Upscale golfers need to have money to finance their world travel trips. So <laughs> it's a natural. We'll see if it's a natural maybe, but anyway. <laughs> Okay, so that's the bonus that I was going to give. So next next week, I'll have to find a different bonus for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was great. Thank you so much. A pleasure. I, I will tell you, um, <laughs> when I am making the money, Dave Wood is, I will jump naked in my own pool. <laughs> and will you film it? <laughs> so, won't bother me a bit when I'm making his money. Yeah. And will you film it? Oh, I'll, I'll find out my butt like he did. So. <laughs> okay, well, that sounds good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, guys, for letting me come on late. And uh, uh, I will have my notes for next week. I'll send it out to you if, um, if you message me an email or someplace where you want me to send this. I'll send the notes out to you ahead of time. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you so maybe much. You can, maybe you can put them in the group. In yeah. the which group? <laughs> group, group chat. He's in the chat. Group chat. Yeah. Okay. All right. This it, group. Yeah. As long as you don't mind everybody else having whatever we're talking about, that's fine. I'll be. No, it, uh, no. There's a chat. Mark made a chat. A specific oh, group yeah. for us. Oh. The one you changed the name of. <laughs> <laughs> You see, oh, I have the, to go back. What is the name of it anyway? Wednesday warm up or something like that? Oh, uh, I don't know. I thought you changed it. No, I kept it. I didn't change it. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, I'll, put it, I'll put it there then. <laughs> okay. I, I, I was going to tell Stephen I didn't remember the name of the chat. That he was in there anyway, so. Yeah, he's in there. Okay, well, I'll go look for it, and I'll put it in there. Well, thank you. All righty. Yeah, well, that was really good information. Watch. Good, good. I'm glad. And, You're a much and, better teacher than I am. No. You did good, Michelle. I, I, I was going to say nice. that when I came on and you were talking about Forbes.com, I started taking notes immediately, and I said, I can't wait to get the uh, – replay of this because I want to know but then when I came back around to all the Facebook things I thought okay now I know where this is coming from and where it's going yeah I got it from Toby Black I did one of his trainings yeah Toby and Layla are really good with that so yeah. that's that's a good thing sorry Sherry did you want to say something no <laughs> less than one minute that's what <laughs> I was gonna say less than one minute all right okay well I will um sign off here and uh go watch the debates i'm sorry i'm not not going to i'll catch on the replay for the wednesday night hangout <laughs> <laughs> thank you janelle <laughs> thank you right. thank you janelle. thank you everybody bye is lisa not here tonight <coughs> no lisa asper no okay. no all right well sherry tim steve mark michelle did i get everybody yep <laughs> yeah Okay. Well, we probably couldn't. <laughs> hey, do you know Alexander?